Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's interview. And all the way from New York City, New York, we have Amy Rivard. Sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> um, how you doing today, Amy? Good, thanks. How about you? Well, I'm doing very good. Uh, I'm glad you could join us uh, this week on the show. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, I guess the obvious question is, how did it start for you as far as being a musician goes? I mean, does it go way back to when you were little, or did you just kind of accidentally stumble onto it? Maybe. Um, a little bit of both, actually. When I was little, I always wanted to be a singer. I knew that. Uh, I would, you know, sing quietly to myself. I would sing kind of inside. When I would sing, I didn't want anyone to hear the sun. I'll come out tomorrow. I'll demonstrate it for you. It's very attractive. I would go, mm, 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 mm. it's beautiful, isn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> so nobody, nobody knew I could sing. And then when I was in grade, there was a school musical, and I thought, this is my chance. But again, I was afraid for people to hear me sing, so I would close my bedroom door and I would sing and I kind of felt safe in there. No, you know, everybody could hear me in my house, my parents and my brother, but but I don't know, it was just like I was nervous. I didn't know if I'd sound any good. And then I got the lead in the school musical and then I just kept singing from there on. <laughs> I knew that's what I wanted to do. Oh, that's good. Um... Uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about some influences in your life. Like, are there any musicians that encouraged you as far as musicians go? I mean, music uh -huh. goes? Well, I've, uh, I'm originally from Windsor, Ontario by Detroit. So I love Motown. I love Stevie Wonder, um, Fleetwood Mac. Um, some, some of the first songs I remember hearing, actually the first songs I remember hearing and dancing to, I think I was three or four, and it was my neighbor. She was teaching us how to dance in her living room, and she was playing Fleetwood Mac, and uh, the Bee Gees. So uh, those were some favorites. That's my first musical memories. And then I, I got into theater, and I did musical theater. And I love anything, all these songs that are in Disney movies. I mean, now there's that Let It Go from Frozen. I love songs like that. I have a very eclectic musical style. I love Joni Mitchell as well. Mm. Well, that's good. That's uh, interesting that you're also in the musical theater thing. Uh, yeah. Um, well, let, let me see. Uh, do you? Uh, how can we get your music? I mean, is there anything like on Amazon or maybe your website, for example? Or yeah, maybe you yeah. Can share if you with us get iTunes or Amazon, uh, you can just Google or search Amy Rivard on Google. On I think I'm on Google Play, Amazon, iTunes. Just search. You know, they're they're on all those, uh, and you can find my music there. Oh, okay. Um, how about as far as albums go? Do you have any albums you like to promote? or? Yes, actually, I just released a new album a few days ago. It's called Where I Am, and it's oh. my first album of all originals. Uh, I did an EP a couple years ago, a five-song EP, but this is a full album, uh, ten songs. And again, it's very click. It may not necessarily fit all in the same album, but that's, that's who I am. So, and it's called Where I Am. Oh, okay. All right, well... Um... I guess that's about it. really all the questions I have for you this week, and I do appreciate you again, Amy, coming by. Thank and, you. And um, anytime you want to come back and promote something new, uh, you know, let us know, and uh, we'll, we'll do our best to help you. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome, and we'll be right back.